Well, first, I became familiar not with his face, but with his name, because when I was working uh, with the FBI and going through all these uh, Turkey uh, CIA operations, Gladio B operations related files with persons of interest who were targets of these investigations, uh, the name Cenk Uygur uh, began popping, not at any high level, you know, main target level. He was more of a lower level, parasitic, criminally connected guy with shady Turkish-Israeli organizations that were operating for this particular operation from late 1990s until at least the time that uh, I was fired from the FBI, which was 2002. Um, I was not surprised when he began disinformation campaign and sabotage against my case during my whistleblowing journey. This is during the period between 2004 and 2008, um, because he knew that I knew, <laughs> because I had been um, speaking uh, about and talking about some of the facts, some of the involved organizations, front organizations, some of them were Turkish organizations. Well, he was involved, Cenk Uygur, again, at a, as a rat, as a lower level rat, nobody significant. But when you're looking at the petty criminal in the bottom of the chain, parasitic guy, that's what he was. So he knew that I was familiar with uh, with those organization, criminal organizations he was involved with. Uh, so I was not surprised when he started attacking me and launched this disinformation campaign against my whistleblowing case while I was single handedly fighting the George W. Bush administration on all different fronts, state secrets, privilege, various gag orders, etc. And then you have to look at this guy's pattern, okay? I mean, when you look at uh, this buffoon, uh, this guy went from ultra conservative, like heavily Republican, ultra, ultra conservative. We are looking at, at, at the level of Rush Limbaugh conservative. And boom, overnight, this guy became a liberal progressive. You know, he was reborn as liberal progressive. Uh, the same thing, I mean, the same pattern repeats us itself again. This guy went from, hey, I'm the little alternative guy, I'm anti-establishment, I'm anti-system, to a guy who began ass-kissing, kissing so many asses and begging in order to land a job with mainstream media, MSNBC. You know, it's interesting. You, you see the parallels between this guy and Ariana Huffington. Of course, um, Huffington uh, always was at a higher level. As I said, this buffoon is like a lower level petty guy. But Ariana Huffington had the same thing. And she used to be this very, very conservative, ultra conservative Republican who suddenly was reborn. And this is Ariana Huffington and became this progressive liberal uh, and, and got tied from Republican Party and went to be intimately tied to the Democratic Party. So you're looking at the similar uh, pattern and you see this with, with rats like this, uh, people who change positions. One day they are Republican, the next day they are a Democrat. One day they are progressive Bernie Sanders supporters. A week later they become a staunch Clinton supporters. You see this pattern pattern among these lower level rats. Uh, and as as you can see, when you go and look at this uh, videos, misinformation, propaganda videos he puts out there, and this is Cenk Uyghur of uh, Young Turk, you will see that he has been uh, a pro-coup, the attempted coup in Turkey. Well, again, if you look at his background, Cenk Uyghur and Young Turk, you will see that until 2011, he was a staunch supporter supporter of Erdogan. He could not praise President Erdogan, you know, highly enough. And then you see that the switch gets turned off and then gets turned on in the opposite direction. Starting from end of 2011, he is just constantly launching attacks against Erdogan, and he was a major supporter of the attempted coup. Well, if you look at the year 2011, you will see that this is the year, this was the year, and this is 2011, where the division occurred between 
Erdogan and CIA's Fethullah Gulen, therefore with the CIA. You know, we have covered this. If you show my probable cause, I went through uh, this entire transformation where President Erdogan went from the greatest leader of the Muslim world, the best man for the civilization in the Middle East, etc., all the way up till 2011 to suddenly he's a dictator, he's an evil man, he's um, a fascist, he's a dictator. Well, when you look at Cenk Uygur, you would see that he was dancing under the same tunes as the CIA and Fethullah Gulen. And by the way, Cenk Uygur has always been serving this mullah, this Islamist mullah Fethullah Gulen and his network, without their blessing, he wouldn't have gotten where he has gotten, considering his dim wit and, and, and the kind of stature he had. Uh, so uh, you see that exactly at the same time, he switches position. Again, look at the pattern. I'm a Republican ultra conservative. I am a Hillary Clinton, Bill Clinton lover Democrat. Oops, no, I'm a progressive liberal and I'm I'm uh, supporting Bernie Sanders. I'm pro Erdogan. Oh, no. Now that CIA and Fethullah Gulen changed course, now I am anti Erdogan. I am an alternative guy. Oops, I went there and kissed asses and sold everything I've got, which is not much for this buffoon. And I landed a job with the NBC, MSNBC. What happened to the guy who was so anti mainstream media? So I am not surprised that that. You know, a guy like that, uh, the buffoon like that, is getting money, whether it's from people like George Soros Foundations or through companies and mega corporations that are intimately tied to partisan politics of Democrats versus Republican or vice versa. In his case, he is intimately tied to the Democratic campaign, and they have now I mean, if you go and look at the headlines, you will see that they are increasing their lobby its expenditure. This is for the Democrats, okay? With Russia Gates and, and George Soros is in this group. And if you look at the latest headlines, they are pouring more money into various fake propaganda left outlets. Well, this guy receives this $20 million. Why? You should ask yourself why a buffoon like that would receive this level of money. Then you start going down the chain and try to find out who are these companies? Who are they connected to? Who are they affiliated with? And with that, you would have the answer to who this buffoon is, Cenk Uyghur of Young Turks. And by the way, I have to make this distinction too. People in Turkey, they know what Cenk Uyghur is about, okay? Especially after the attempted coup, I don't believe he's even able to go back to Turkey considering all his activities, covert and overt, again, Erdogan per instruction from his bosses who are connected to Fethullah Gulen and the CIA. So I have to say I am not surprised and I'm so glad that, that uh, we are putting out this information, exposing these pseudo-alternatives, these uh, impostures, because they have only one goal in mind and that goal is divide and conquer. They have to put their bit, they have to play their part in order to achieve the deep states, the shadow government's objective, which is divide and conquer.